And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. For some areas, it was a rainy start to the weekend, and these are the rainfall totals so far this weekend. Highest total I was able to find was in Berlin, close to two inches, 1.82. We had close to half an uh, inch and a half in Amro, uh, about an inch and a half as well as in Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, under an inch and a half in Greenville, getting off to the east side of Lake Winnebago and Stockbridge a tenth of an inch of rain officially for the two day total in Green Bay, just under seven tenths of an inch. But there is more rain on the way tonight and into tomorrow as well. Gloomy though, uh, day though, really just on and off skid of rain showers all throughout the afternoon. We woke up this morning with some rain. High pressure has been acting as kind of a roadblock to prevent some of the rainfall to move up into the north woods. It's been swinging back and forth, but eventually this low pressure will move further to the north and be able to override that dry air mass that's in store right now over southern Ontario and also over the central part of the country. So with that being said, the umbrellas will be needed tomorrow and maybe it's early, early on the day Tuesday morning. Second half of the day looks like we turn completely sunny. Finally, things start to dry out. But until then, we're going to have to just deal with the rainfall. Heavier of the rain now lifting up into far northern Illinois. They were dealing with some flash flooding concerns earlier in the afternoon. There's a flood watch in effect across all of southern Wisconsin and up in northeast Wisconsin. We don't have any flood watches or advisories, but something we'll monitor will be with the additional rainfall. What happens with those local streams and rivers if we will have any flood warnings because of the water getting over the banks? The highest rainfall totals right now are right along just south of Appleton near Nina Menasha through Oshkosh, west of Fond du Lac into Berlin, and then down into southern Wisconsin, where we see lots of those blues. Some radar estimations between about three to four inches of rainfall. That's why there is that flood watch in effect across southern Wisconsin. And then in Illinois, we have some flood advisories and flood warnings. So back here at home overnight, Continuing with the rainfall, we'll have rain bands moving in from the east, moving westward. Typically, we have the rain coming in west to east, but we're on the back side of the slow pressure, so we'll get that wrap around rain showers. Here we are at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. As you're waking up, perhaps getting the kiddos ready for school, heading out the door, might still see a slight lull before more rain does come back into the picture later tomorrow afternoon and evening, 6.30. More rain moving in here from the north, but you start to see the skies. They are clearing off to the west by about 9, 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning. That's when we'll see a lot of sunny weather return here and we'll start to dry things out. Additional rainfall from now until tomorrow night. We could see another three quarters of an inch, an inch and a half. Even Ephraim getting close to two inches of rainfall. It's going to be a wet day tomorrow and you can see that on the day planner highs right around the lower 60s running about 10 degrees below the normal for this time of year. But here's something to look forward to. The sun does return on Tuesday. Eventually we will dry out with a high temperature of 74 cooling off into the mid 50s tonight. Northeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour and then for tomorrow remaining in the 60s with breezy winds at 1020 70 forecasts warming up to the mid 70s on Wednesday. Right around 70 on Thursday, back up into the mid 70s on Friday, and then another slight chance of rain showers Saturday and Sunday. Coming up.